tool to cut this regular knife if you want. Just smooth it so that it doesn't overhang the edge because what happens is when it's up against the wall like this, then it doesn't go all the way flush to the wall and it, it'll let air out, cold air if you live in a cold place. So just push that down all around. And that's what makes Sculpey so easy to work with is so soft in it and it cooks really hard too. So you cook this in your toaster oven if you get it all smooth. Now there's a this is a good example. We cook it though. Let me mention this real quick. You may want to in push and see print it with or some stuff. Anything like, textured on it. Sometimes I'll maybe might I like to keep a lot of these wooden sticks around and maybe you might push some you know push some holes in it or whatever. But, so before you do anything you might want to, you know, make some impressions or whatever, or use a brush because that'll bake them in and they'll look real good. Okay, and then before you cook it, always cut out the area like uh, the switch area or the outlet area, whatever your, you know, whatever kind of switch it is. And then take, that's why I like these wooden sticks, is you take these wooden sticks and you stick them and you just kind of twirl them around through the hole where the screws go to put it back on the wall. And make sure that you don't, that was another mistake I made, I had to drill holes with a Dremel instead. It's better just to do it ahead of time. Okay, so get that all smoothed out as much as you can. Okay, so you cook that for 20 minutes at 325. And that's if you're using the kind of Sculpey that I'm talking about, the original Sculpey. And you don't want it to have it like a burnt look, okay? And then when you're done with it, you know, when it, after it's cooked, there's a lot of different things you can do to it. Like I'll take colored clay like this and make like flower shapes, some of these kinds of stamp things here shapes, you know, to, to sh shape uh, different stars, flowers, petals, whatever, or just make them yourself, you know, with your hand. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you, that uh, Pearl X, Pearl X pigment like that, and what I do is I take just a teensy bit on a brush, like on an old paintbrush like this. And even before I cook it, I might do like this and brush it on. Or even after, but actually it stays on better if you brush it on beforehand. So you can paint it with oil paints. If you want to paint with acrylic after you cook it, the best thing to do is to clean it real good with rubbing alcohol be before you paint with acrylic. Um, and like I said, you know, you use your imagination. You can put animals on here. You can. Uh, use different colors and then when you're done then you'll want to put you know your regular polymer clay sealer on there everybody has different ideas about how to clean up but my favorite way is a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a rag and it'll make your hands dry so you'll have to put some lotion on afterwards but a lot of stuff takes it takes the oily feeling that you get from polymer clay right off your hands it takes all the excess clay off cleans it right off for a few minutes.